watching USA, America's All Entertainment Network. Maybe you better take Jamie into the kitchen for a snack. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, Jamie. I think we got some of those sweet little cupcakes. Oh, no, you don't. Fruit. You've had enough junk already today. All right, all right. Come on, Jamie. Let's peel a banana. Well, you certainly don't look like you're in the mood for a song and a dance. I've had better days. How'd the meeting with Alicia and Logan go? Well, it wasn't terribly productive. It seemed that the two of them were laughing at some sort of private joke. I'm sorry. Alicia, I can understand. I mean, she orchestrated the entire Engler deal, but Logan, I just... I don't know. You saw Logan earlier today. What did you say to make him so happy? Do you take notes and social today? Mm-hmm. But I don't know what they mean. <laughs> Hard, I see, huh? Look, have either of you seen Preacher around? Not in the last five minutes. Five minutes? That's how long it's been since you last asked. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I just can't understand it. I mean, he's late, and that's really not like him. Well, where is he? He's supposed to be here. of a gigantic bomb? You mean it? It's the way it looks, Biddle. This door and this door over here have both been wired recently. Yeah, not to mention this window, right? I mean, this doesn't look like any burglar alarm system that I've ever seen. Oh, that's just great. you worked on enough of them, haven't you? The hell with my past, man. What are we gonna do now? Come on, come on. Let's, let's think this thing out. Obviously, whoever saw you outside that window the other day realized that this place here was attracting too much attention. Yeah, but before they uh, cleared it out, they decided to leave us this nice little trap. And we very obligingly walked right into it. We opened a window or a door and we're dead. It's a great feeling, isn't it? I mean, every hinge in the joint's a detonator. I think you saw those hinges, Preacher. You probably saved all our lives. Yeah, for the time being, but it's not like we're going anywhere, is it? <laughs> and you finally hit a point, my man. The phone's dead. The exits are booby-trapped. Gentlemen, we are here for the duration. Now, uh, listen. My department will be coming to look for us after a while. Um, hey, hey, hey. Come, come over here. What? Why? Just quiet. Just come over here. What is it? Come here. All right, now listen. You hear that? Beep, 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 beep. Now, when we came in this joint, we must have activated a timer. Logan to make him happy. All right, let's forget about the happy part, then. What did you say to him? I asked him why he decided to represent Engler. 
What was his answer to that? He said that he didn't want Angler exploited by Whitney International. Yeah, that's the same thing he told me. Well, don't you believe him? Oh, I imagine it's true as far as it goes. It just doesn't go far enough. Do you think Logan's working with Alicia? Well, Geraldine tells me that Logan is a very honorable man. And I imagine that may be true, at least as far as professional ethics go. What are you talking about? Logan admitted to me that he was miffed because I was partially responsible for him losing the standing L case. I don't think that he cared about losing. It's just that I was involved in it. He told me that he was looking forward to round two. Well, Logan happens to be a very honorable man in his personal life, too. Oh, well, I, I, I haven't seen any evidence of that as yet. What are you talking about? He let Jamie stay with us, didn't he? So he did. Well, let's just nominate Logan for a Nobel Prize. Logan is a paragon of virtue. I'm mean and cheap and petty because I'm questioning his motive. Where is all of this coming from? I'm just trying Raven, to say... Raymond, I'm not an idiot. Why do you keep changing the subject? The subject is Logan Swift. And despite the high opinions that you and Geraldine share about him, if you think that he's after some sort of cheap corporate revenge, you're at, it's crazy. Well, he's not the only one after some cheap corporate revenge. What is that supposed to mean? If you think the only reason Alicia is dancing all around you is because you want some stupid proxy fight, you better open your Raven, eyes, kid. Raven, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm serious. Open your eyes. Raven. Ra not this time. Jody, dear. We are trying to study, you know. Yeah, for a change, me. Oh, look, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was bothering anybody. Look, if Preacher makes it back here, will you tell him I'll be back in a half hour? Thanks. Remember, I'll be back in a half hour. Okay? Now what's she up to? You got me. What do you think of Preacher? Blue eyes aren't everything. <laughs> If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone, please. Raven, we have to talk. I don't want to talk. It just makes me crazy. Raven, you've walked away from this conversation too many I times already. I did not walk away from anything. I just want a little peace and quiet. You said at Geraldine's that you need space, that you need to uh, sort things out for yourself. Yes, that seemed a very reasonable request. Yeah, well, that may be fine. In many things, Raven, but that is not the way that you work a marriage. Since when did you become the resident marriage well, Stop it, Raven! We have to help each other. How? Raven, there's something wrong with our marriage and you're not going to be able to solve it by barricading yourself in the bedroom. I'm just trying to get a little breathing room. Raven, um... I'm just trying to help. I don't want to cause you any more problems, but we have to help each other. Our marriage is fine. And you can't help me with this. Raven. No! All right. All right, but there's one thing that you better understand. What? Your visits to Logan and Alicia have done nothing but hinder me in my plans to get a hold of Dr. Engler's formula, so I would appreciate it in the future if you do nothing more to help me. dealing with any amateurs here. I mean, there aren't any uh, alarm clocks or pipes or firecrackers. This appears to be state-of-the-art explosives. Yeah, that certainly would bring up a lot of questions, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, it appears we're dealing with some pretty sophisticated people here. All right, so since we can't get out either of these doors or the window, then the only thing left to do is to disarm this bomb. Yeah, well, the only thing is, if we try to disarm them by the wires which are exposed here, we're, we're bound to trigger it. We can't disarm it until we can get to it. The beacon is on the outside. Which uh, puts us out of luck. We can't disarm the bombs. We can't get out of the building. I mean, 
We don't even know how much time we've got left. Oh, fine, yes, please, P put her through. Uh, Shelley? Well, I've been waiting for this call half the day. Is there anything wrong? I see. Well, what prevented you getting time alone? You don't think Alicia suspects anything, do you? Good. Did you find out anything? What? What? I don't believe that. Just because Alicia talked to Gunther Wagner doesn't mean he's the one who's spying for her. Well, that would make him a sort of uh, triple agent. No, it's, it's just not possible. It doesn't make sense. It can't be. Can it? No, Elmo, Elmo, look. <laughs> now, look, there are times uh, when you just have to respect our long-standing tradition of mutual trust. No, no, I am good for the money. Now, look, if the track hadn't been wet, uh, Glenda Girl would have won by ten lengths, and you'd be owing me a bundle. What? Look, I am going to pay you back. Don't talk that way, okay? What do you mean, how? I got my ways, all right? Don't worry about it. Let me worry about it. Hey, hey, Jamie, hey, you're supposed to eat those things. They're yucky. Oh. Hey, you realize uh, you just insulted a bean sprout? Well, see, these are baby sprouts. Hey, you want to watch me chow down on uh, these little rascals? Watch this. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess they are pretty yucky, aren't they? I tell you what, I think I ought to send a whole plate full of these over to my bookie, huh? <laughs> well, I don't think this is the kind of greenery he's looking for. Got there. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir, Mr. Whitney. Catherine, I'm going to my office. If anyone should call, I'll be there in about 20 minutes. Right, right. I got it. I got it. See you later, Jamie. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Whitney, uh... Yes, Gunther. Gunther, make it quick. I'm in a hurry, all right? Uh... Gunther? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, listen, uh, you think I should uh, take the uh, snow tires off the car? It's almost Easter. <sighs> Whatever you think best, Gunther. Couldn't tell I am. I'm gonna have to find a way out of it myself. Come on, man. I feel like I'm sitting on death row or something. Very accurate. Well, then let's do something. We don't have to sit around and wait for the big blast. Well, I'm open to suggestions. What do you think we should do? I don't know, maybe we can cut the window open somehow without actually we opening it. We haven't got a glass cut. Well, we use a ring or something. Look, Who says we got to do a neat job? It doesn't matter either way. Chances are this bomb is rigged with a trembler switch. Now, those things will respond to even the faintest vibration. Now, if you use a diamond ring or a glass cutter, you start sawing through that window, and you're bound to trigger yeah, that Yeah, but you switch. don't even know there's a trembler switch out there. So this beats is just sitting around. Let's take our chances. Oh, no, come on. Calvin's right. For the moment, we sit tight. No! Let's go through the ceiling. We can go through the wall. Preacher, you set off any kind of vibration in here, and it is over. Now, I'm telling you, you got to stay away from that window. you got to stay away from these doors and even these walls. Hey, get away! Whitney Residence? Gunther, it's Mrs. Saxon. I want to have a meeting with you. Uh, when, uh, Mrs. Saxon? Immediately. Uh, well, well, I don't know. I, I'm awful busy around here. I'm afraid it's very important. How soon can you be in my office? Uh, well, I... Uh, look, I'm sorry, Mrs. Saxon, but, but things are kind of piling up around here. We're gonna have to make it some other time, okay? Gunther? No. It's too fantastic. All right, gentlemen, I wanted to brief you on the situation with Dr. Inglis. I hope there still is a situation. Well, it's changed, but it's not all bad. Uh, Logan Swift, who, as you know, is representing the, the good doctor, tried to pass off on me a copy of the same presentation that Engler had already sent us. Well, then what's changed? Well, I told him that we need more of the formula if we're going to make a bid, and I also insisted that Dr. Engler be present at any further negotiations. It's a very wise move. 
it's not wise, Dave, it's essential. We can't keep blundering around in the dark anymore. Now, what I want you to do is to restructure our offer because I'm pretty sure that Angus' offer is going to go right through the roof now. Check. Can do, boss. Les, how much more of the formula are you going to need before you know whether it works or not? It's hard to say. Uh, can you make a stab at it? Well, formulas are tricky. One missing equation and it's scrap paper. So you're going to need the whole thing, huh? Well, that's just swell. I mean, we're going to have to buy the whole thing before I know whether it works or not. I'm sorry, I'll do the best I can to try to interpret what Dr. Yeah, I wish you would. Excuse me. Yes. Put him on. Yes, Mr. Swift. Tomorrow at 2. Very good. Why don't we make it here at Whitney International? Unless, of course, you'd only feel comfortable at some neutral meeting place. Ah. Very good. Tomorrow at 2. Well, gentlemen, we'll be meeting here tomorrow at 2 o'clock with Ms. Van Dyne, Logan Swift, and Dr. Anker. To do what, sir? To begin our negotiations. that door. Listen, this is the police. Who's outside there? Look, it's Jody. What's going on? Jody, Jody, get out of here now. Oh, Jody, Jody, stay close. What are you not doing? We've blown up too. Jody, stay close. Just be very quiet and don't touch anything. Chief, what are you doing? What are you talking about? She's our only means of communication. Now, I'm banging on this bomb having a long fuse. She may be able to reach the Monticello yeah, bomb no, squad. Like, just get her out of here. Look. You know, I really can't believe that you could be this anxious to die. Meaning what? Meaning that the, the trigger mechanism to detonate that thing is out there. Oh, something come like that. on, if man. If she can you find it, kid me. there is no way. Let her look. If she can find it, she can diffuse it. Forget it, man. She wouldn't know how. I know how to do it, and I can talk her through it. No, I'm not letting her take any of those chances. Let me decide that preacher. Jody, get out of here, quick. Calvin, I think I know what you're looking for. There's a box attached to the wall. It's got a bunch of wires coming out of it. Is that where the beeping is coming from? Jody, don't! Yes. Jody, get out of here! Look out of here, please! I'm begging you, go! Preacher, I'm not gonna let you die! No! No matter how many times you scream at me! <laughs> Calvin, what do I do? Look. Look at the top of the box. I, I, describe it to me. Well, it, it has a lid. Is it attached with anything? Yes, screws! Okay, the screws have uh, uh, single slots or cross slots? Doesn't matter, Calvin. I don't have a screwdriver. to be good and then something inside of you says forget it I don't care about anybody else I'm gonna do just what I want you felt like that sometimes huh <laughs> that's because you get your mommy's blood in you well we're gonna have to try real hard to fight that the only trouble is Screwdriver, huh? Well, it's not surprising how many college girls carry screwdrivers around in their pocketbooks. Come on, I know my knife would do the trick. There's just no way to get it to her, right? Wait a minute. I have a nail file in my purse. All right. Good girl. Let's just be careful. Don't jiggle anything. Don't worry, Calvin. Okay, how you doing? Got one to go. Just, just take your time now. Be, be very, very good. Okay? The screw's out. Okay, now, 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 I, just, I want you to lift the lid with just a little, not even an inch. Just, just lift it so you can run your finger around the rim and see if there are any wires attached to it. Okay, now very, very carefully. Kevin, the lid. 
lids off. All right, all right, guys. Tell me, what do you see inside? Well, it looks like a digital clock and a whole bunch of wires. They're all different colors. Okay, okay, look. There should be three sets of wires, one for each of the doors and one for the window. Now, what I want you to do is is look at the face on that on that digital mechanism. Can you can you read the figures? Well, sure, what is it? It's gonna tell us how much time we've got. Don't touch it. Just tell me what it says. Three minutes. Uh -huh. 